back to my channel. So it is almost nine o'clock and I have to bake around 40 to 50 cupcakes tonight. After finishing work and doing some editing and stuff like that, I finally ate dinner and I've been kind of procrastinating, but here we are. I have to bake these cupcakes tonight because tomorrow um, my best friend, her oldest sister, is having her grand opening of her, it's a paint and sip uh, business. It's called Vibes with a Z, V-I-B-E-S. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even spell it right. V-I-B-E-Z. So it's called Vibes and it's where you can uh, purchase a canvas and it includes uh, a drink of choice whether that's soda wine or beer I think is what she's serving at her bar and it's inside of if you're in Milwaukee area it will be inside the Sherman Phoenix so it's a really really cool building and construction that has several different businesses on the inside so it's gonna be an awesome grand opening. I took a tour of it um, on Thanksgiving. I had a private tour from the CEO of Vibes herself. <laughs> um, so that's so cool to say that, right, about your friends. But um, she took us there uh, with her sisters and her family and my goddaughter and we all got to see everything. Um, so everything looks so beautiful. I'm excited for her and just everyone who's going to be a part of this grand opening because like I said, there are several businesses within the Sherman Phoenix. So it's gonna be one big party and I am baking some cupcakes for it all. Um, so yeah, I am going to do like a time lapse of me baking today and um, it's gonna be more creative so I'm not gonna do anything from scratch that would take way too long. Um, I'm basically going to do my semi homemade box cake recipe which is I get the Betty Crocker box cake and then I add in some melted butter and pudding mix. So I got the vanilla pudding mix for the vanilla cakes and chocolate pudding mix for the chocolate cake. So if you have not heard of that hack for semi-homemade box cake, you need to know, girlfriend, okay? Because, or boys, for those of you who bake, um, some melted butter and pudding mix makes your cake nice and moist and the butter just gives it that extra flavor. So someone may think it's homemade, but um, it's definitely a box cake. Um, I can't bake from scratch, but that's not the point. <laughs> um, we just want a pretty good tasting cake. And um, my friend, who's also her sister, um, Amani, she is making these um, paint palettes. So like, if you like, <laughs> the best way to describe it, it's like the, the plate that you would put your paint on and it has a little circle for your brush so if you like text someone and you start typing paint the emoji is gonna pop right up and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and that's how we came up with this idea so we are um, she actually got some molds to make this white fudge paint palette and use M&Ms as the paint colors so it's super cute I'll insert a photo of course so you guys can see what they look like but I am going to do chocolate cupcakes and vanilla cupcakes and I have some all white frosting and I'm going to add in some food color I got the primary colors so I can make red blue yellow green um, frosting so I can frost these the multi all the multi colors it's gonna be very colorful because you know we're going with the paint theme all the paint vibes see what I did there <laughs> um so we're gonna do that and then top them with the little um molds that she made which are edible because it's white fudge how cute right and then I'm going to turn the camera around and show you how you're going to display these cupcakes. Yes, 
we got a whole theme going on here. I am actually going to make a big, I got some foam board. I went to the Dollar Tree today and got some supplies. And I am going to cut the board into a big giant uh, paint palette. And I have some construction paper that I'm gonna use as the circles to put on the um, paint palette. And then that's what the cupcakes are going to sit on. So. I think that's gonna be really really cool I hope everything turns out nicely and I will share with you excuse my junk I was trying to hide this whole situation back here but hashtag real life um, this side is completely organized but anyway I hope everything will turn out nice and beautiful and she loves it i don't think she knows we're doing this yet maybe she does because her sister is baking at the house possibly i don't know but if she is surprised that would be really cool too so it's really late i'm gonna time lapse me baking i will show you guys the arts and crafts portion and i will insert uh some clips of tomorrow at the grand opening as well so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you want to bake with me and do some arts and crafty stuff then just keep on watching <music> next morning um I look a hot mess because I was up to like one o'clock in the morning and I got probably three hours of sleep I think I went to really probably fell asleep at like 1 30 and got up at five had to get ready for work and stuff so the cupcakes look beautiful but I have not made the foam board part yet and I I have to be at this event like obviously they know that I had to work today so um, I went early so I could get off early come home shower change and leave but not only do I have to get ready right now I also have to try to pull this board together so I have exactly one hour to fix this madness <laughs> Oh, I look ashy right now, but to fix all of this, get the board made, load up the car, and head to the event. So, just an update on where we are at currently, and uh, yeah, you'll see how this goes. <laughs>
because what is happening with the small businesses, with the community organizations, with the individuals that believe in this neighborhood, that believe in this community, that believe in this city. And I want to thank And I hope when you see this, Chrishella, that you just know that we are all so proud of you. This is like amazing. So congratulations, girl, and to everyone at Sherman Phoenix. <laughs>